And here we go. All right, it's been so long since I've streamed. Oh, it's good. Howdy. Hope you're doing okay. I just want to try a Jackbox live stream. Actually, um, let me just quickly post uh, um, to other people that the live stream is happening, and we will get started. Yeah. So basically, what will happen is you'll be able to join in if you like on your. Uh, tablets or mobile phone whatever you've got um at jackbox.tv and the um link will be in the description and there will be sound and stuff but um you know i'm just keeping it down for now on uh now let me know if the sound is too loud um or too quiet and i'll turn it up accordingly i'll adjust accordingly anyway let's just make sure um got the uh link here do, 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 do. All right, I'm supposed to post the link, but I can't post the link. Okay, awesome, fantastic. Um, all right, uh, I can't figure out what the link is, so I won't worry about that. Anyway, um, uh, no, no, can't, results. Any okay, let's get started. All right, so if you've got a uh, tablet or something like that, feel free to join in. And yes, I am blatantly ripping off this idea from Robin. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you, uh, Kentucky. Um, she, she just posted uh, Jackbox Top TV. Does anyone have any uh, recommendations what they'd like to see first? We've got Quiplash. We've got Trivia Murder Party. We've, um, that's both, Quiplash doesn't say how many players, but Murder Party's one to eight. Gaspionage is a fun one. That's two to eight players. Faking it. Hey, faking it's a good one. Oh, it's only three to six. Let's go with something. Um, three to what? Uh, let's try Gaspionage. This, this looks fun. All right. Um, we'll try Quiplash uh, next. Sorry, uh, Charles. Um, didn't see that. Now. Um, all right. So it's just loading up. So I will have my tablet too, and we will uh, play a game. And what you'll need to do is at Jackbox TV, you just enter in the code that I'll show you in a second when I press the space button, because I have the power. So I'll just join in as well. Um, uh, let's see, Jackbox code is GVKG. GVKG. And just make sure I can join in. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to be this agent here. This, this guy looks nice. Ooh. How about this, uh, this one? Yes. All right, and you select your agent, uh, and once everybody's in, oh, yep, John Charles, we've got Christy, we've got Nick, oh, hey, Nick, we've got Dad, and we got, oh, hey, Time Lord, hey, James, and Trev and Droid. All right, guys, so everybody's in, I press this button. Um, pardon me if I'm a bit slow to this, I'm quite new to it. <laughs> so let's see. All of the surveillance we do here at the government gets collected in this computer. And when I say all of it, I mean all Let of me it. See. Even that total disaster when you tried to cut open oh, yeah. a mango. Usually we upload it straight to government YouTube. But today we're going to use it to play... Gespionage! Okay. <laughs> well, guess what? We're now collecting live data from the audience. If we gather enough data from your audience, the questions are all about them. Otherwise, we'll use the global database. Let's have some analytical fun! Okay, I'm confused. First up. All right. All right. Typey, typey. Is anyone else confused? What percentage of people regularly cut off or avoid eating the crusts on their sandwiches? Try to guess the correct percentage as close as you can. The closer your guess is to the correct percentage, the more points you earn. And if you're in the audience, don't yeah, forget to I, answer the question. I, th I think you're um, pretty on a uh, spot on there, Trev. I'd say maybe 25 cent myself, but you go with what you think. I'm curious what you choose. Frankly, you'd know better if you're in America. <laughs> have an answer. 38 percent. Yeah. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think okay. the correct answer is higher or lower? If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. I think Trev's pretty in the ballpark there, to be honest, but um, uh, let's, I'm gonna say myself and see how people go. Most of you saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 13%. Oh. 
percent. Nice. Everyone has to find a way to take the edge off. Hey, that's really fun. I like that. Good work, Trev. All right. Who said lower? Ooh, I did. For you. Good work, Droid. Next up. Now, pardon me if I'm a little bit uh, bad at responding right, to the uh, chat during this because I'll have the actual game up. So, um, see how we go. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what, what I'm doing either, Artsy, so don't taken worry. In stray animals as pets? Oh, hey, Fanda. Oh, thanks, Dominic. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. What percentage of people have taken in stray animals as pets? Oh, this is... Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. 8%. Okay, higher or lower. <laughs> I'm not an animal lover, in case you guessed. I'm assuming a lot of the rest of society isn't. <laughs> oh, you guys are too nice to think that many people are taking stray animals. People are saying higher. I like you people. <laughs> this community is awesome. One hundred percent. Your guess wasn't within thirty percent of the correct answer, so you don't get any points. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> well done. You get points. And really? Good job. Double points for guessing much higher. Taken in stray animals as pets. More. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure I understood that question. Surely not that many percentage of people have taken in stray animals as pets. Let's see, what would be good? How about <laughs> this? I like cats, yeah, tenant. <laughs> oh, and ducks. Ducks are awesome. What percentage of people did not finish the last game of Monopoly they started? Um... <laughs> actually, that that's a fair... That's a good point, actually probably would be a lot of people. Uh, let me know if there's any audio feedback, by the way. Hopefully it's all coming through okay. Anytime now. I don't think my dad's as tech-savvy to be my dad. <laughs> Everyone else, higher or lower? Or that observant. Um... Actually, I think that's a pretty good guess. Um, I'm gonna go... Yeah. I'm gonna go a little higher than that myself. Just one of you is saying higher. Let's see the audience answer. What? 20%. No, that many people finish their game? Man, I suck at this. <laughs> you guys are much better at it. Okay, who's up next? All right, droid. What should I see what you got? The old surveillance pro next. Ooh, I know. What percentage of people have seen the movie Titanic more than twice? Oh, that's... Ah, oh, man, that's... A tough one. What do you think, Droid? Twenty-eight percent. Hey, what thanks, uh, cute thing. Appreciate it. Um... All right. I'm gonna say... Say a little lower, but maybe running out of time. People oh, hi, are saying man. higher. And what does your audience think? Twenty-eight percent. Whoa, right on the nose. Just nice like work, we guys. Of Liberty Super Camera. Sorry, everyone, but all the points go to Smart. So remember, you guys can join in to give your own answer if you're in the audience and not playing. Um, we've got people offering their audience uh, perspective, so feel free to join in if you'd like. That's what I like about this game, like, everyone can do something towards it. Oh, this is great, guys. I haven't really kind of done something Thomas together with community like this before dispensers. we're all playing together. Hey, what percentage of people have purchased condoms from gas station bathroom dispensers? <laughs> what a great question. Hey, I disconnected. What the hell? Oh, come on. Oh man, I disconnected. Anyway, you, you time. go, Time Lord. Uh, James. Uh-oh. Did everyone disconnect? Oh, crap. Oh, that was a really good question. I wanted to find out the answer to that. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, damn it. Hang on, what's causing 
this. Could be my That'll help. Running out of time. Okay. Um, is anyone still in? Sorry about that, guys. I'll restart the game if it, uh, if it has any problems. Um, looks like everyone's disconnected. Um, I will just try again. Okay, so... Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, the live stream health seems really bad. Um, I'll just try and see if I can get it back up, up and running properly. Okay. That was fun, so I want to try that again. <laughs> um, the live stream health is orange. I wonder if that means bad or... Okay, viewers may be experiencing minor issues. Um, okay. Tomorrow will be even hotter, they say. All right, well, let, let, let's try again. I'll see if anyone can join. So grab your tablets if you want to join in, and we will go with the room code. So the room code is... Well, personally, I prefer the cold over the heat every day. Me too. I just don't like hot weather. Some, some, at some point, I'm not going to be able to get in because I won't know the code. You guys will be too fast. My thoughts exactly. Oh crap! The wow. clearly the, the stream is still of um, buffering badly because no one's joined yet. And okay. High five. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So I will choose um, this fine-looking fellow. To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Please remove all personal items. This includes I don't know calls me a VIP. Yeah, Seddon, I think you're probably right. Uh, the Sonic movie probably will suck, uh, um, but uh, Jim Carrey will be a fun part of it. No, I haven't actually played much of Fortnite myself, Dominic, sorry, uh, but... Uh, Oh, yeah, everybody's in. Sorry, I meant to hit that button. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Gotta focus on one thing. Ooh, 23 people in the audience. Welcome awesome. Back. Let me just yeah. delete this video of Taylor Swift on the moon from the internet, and we can start another game of... Yes, I'll give a little more time next time in case uh, anyone wants to join in the okay, audience. Um, yeah. High five. JKMC. I'm going to search for... Telemarketers. What percentage of people, upon answering the phone and realizing it's a telemarketer, hang up immediately? Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. In this one, I I kind of think people are generally a bit more um, polite than that, whether they like to be or not. Got it. Um, yeah, that, that's a, that's a okay, fair uh, way to go, I'd say. I'm going to say... God, you I think you're quite on the money with that, to be honest. Or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. I'm going to personally say a little bit lower, but uh, you may be right on the money with that. What does the audience think? Believe it. Got 19 people participating in the audience, too. What do you guys think? Hurry up. Hmm. Come on, psychic uh, Motez and literal god. Most people said lower. And what did the audience say? What do you guys say? Oh, seventy-eight percent. I say. In the ballpark. Huh. Nice work, guys. Huh. Really, that many Let's people. See who got huh. it right. Here's some points. Nice work, James and Sega sister. Next up. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. Hmm. What percentage of people can stop themselves from reading movie or TV spoilers <laughs> when seeing spoiler alert warning? <laughs> That's a very vague question. Surely a lot of people. I mean, they can stop themselves. 85%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Whether people choose to or not is very different whether they can stop themselves. Oh, that's such a vague one. I'm going to go with... Oh, because it's such a vague question, though. I, I don't blame you uh, for being out of the ballpark on this one. What do you think? 
most people said lower. Let's see the audience answer. 63%! Solidly mediocre. Oh, okay. Oh, at least we right. mostly got some points. Yes. Here's your points. Nice. Who's next? Hmm. Oh, it's me. What Ooh, do this I need? Is gonna be good. Bikes. What percentage of people ride bikes to work at least one day per week? Hmm. Um. Let's see. One day. Not that many people, surely. I'm gonna go with about. It's such a minority, certainly in Australia. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say 20%. 20%. Everyone else. You guys may have different opinion on this because you're in Amer uh, mostly in America or Canada, but here in Australia, it's a bit more uncommon. It's it's such a it's almost a cult thing. They kind of all wear lycra and they all have glasses on the same gear. It's like in cults, I'd say more 10%. I could be off. I'd say actually less than that. But uh, really, huh. no, not too far off. Not too shabby. I'm glad that people are that healthy. Let's see who got it right. Well nice done. work. You get points. Sega sister Carson and John Carls. Go. Oh. All right, okay, we've all got some points now. Sweet. Psychic Motes. Would all be needing if the boss ever catches me doing this. <laughs> what percentage of people have business cards? Hmm. Hmm. Business cards. Um. I'm one of them. <laughs> I need to update them. But I never give out business cards. I always I hate giving out business cards because I, I feel like there's almost this obligation for them to hold on to it. And I hate giving people that obligation. It's like birthday cards to me, and I'm just like, no, no. If, if they want, they'll look it up. And most people in Australia aren't really interested in cartoons. Percentage of people have been. Okay, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say lower. I don't think that many people are self employed or even trying to be self employed. And what does your audience think? 11%! Whoa, we were all off. You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Oh, except literal sorry, God. Sorry. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Nice work. Next up. Believe it. Sega Sister is next. The database has some juicy data for this. I'll keep my Skype open just in case Robin or Sumi uh, decide to show up. People are really just I will add them in. At using chopsticks. Uh, really just terrible. Me, one of them. I love sushi, uh, sushi trains, but I still hold them like an idiot. <laughs> I've managed to find a. Um, a way to use them, but uh, yeah, it's still. 60%. Okay, higher or lower. Oh, you uh, have a lot of faith in people's um, dexterity. I think Westerners, anyway, probably are going to have a hard time with chopsticks. People have shown me many times, and I still can't get it. <laughs> Time's running out, higher or lower. Come on, Psychic, what do you think? And John Charles. A few people. Oh, oh no, the stream health is down again. Looks oh. like an even split. Let's see the audience answer. Hopefully, uh, we're okay. percent Oh. You were pretty close. Nice, nice work, Sega sister. Um, I, I should probably have more faith in people's Let's dexterity. Right. I, I guess it depends Here's what you consider good at using chopsticks. Oh, really? Just terrible. <laughs> Who's next? Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. Christmas trees, eh? What percentage of people have left Christmas trees up beyond January 31st? Thanks, Papa Bless. I appreciate it. Uh, if my videos um, brighten your day, that's um, what they're essentially here for, and I appreciate you checking them out. Thank you. What percentage of people have left Christmas trees up beyond your... Oh, come on, everyone does. 70%. Oh, All yeah, right. yeah, what absolutely, Carson. I think that's a fair, accurate claim. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say a little... Uh, I'm gonna 
gonna go higher with this one. It's gonna my gut says higher. Running out of time. So I like to my family likes to leave them up. Um when I go to my mom, she likes to leave it up, you know, a little bit into January because, you know, it sets People a nice atmosphere, you know? How did the audience answer? What did you guys think? Thirty-seven percent! Terrible guess. You need to be within thirty percent to get points. Wow, really? Well done. That many? Oh, okay. I guess people are a lot more efficient <laughs> than I gave them credit for. Next up. Mr. Charles. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. Is your question. What percentage of people can play a musical instrument? <laughs> no, it's not just you, Christy. I'll leave mine up too. What percentage of people can play? I can kind of play the kazoo. That's about it, really. I, I, never, I never was able to play a guitar even after a year of practicing. I can play Song of Joy on it, and I could almost play Sonic um, Green Hill Zone on the piano. Steph was teaching me for a while, but uh, Everyone else, higher or lower. <laughs> I never got very good at it. Um, let's see. High five. Let's see. Oh, I think 40% is pretty accurate, to be honest. Hurry up. Really dragging your feet, Psychic Motes. Are you getting a bad connection? Nice work, guys. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed people were that um, literate with instruments. Okay, who's up next? It's Time Lord. Okay, computer. What do you have for this? Some one? editor. Bumper cards. What do you got for us, James? What percentage of people have intentionally slammed into someone they didn't know in a bumper car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. Lots of people. Surely. Um. Again. I don't know. You're calling that one. Okay, higher or lower? I'm gonna say lower. I think people are more timid than that. Not a lot lower. I think you're pretty close, but uh, say a little lower. E leave it. E leave it. What do you think? Higher or lower? High five. Tell me the streaming health has improved. Oh, I'm still struggling. Um, could I ask uh, in the chat, um, right how is the, the uh, actual stream quality at the moment think? coming through on your end? 83%. Um, uh, wow, Soundbreaker, the thoughts on She-Ra actually talked about in... Uh, oh, nice, guys. Um, right. I actually talk about that Here's in a recent points. video, the one with the with Big Mouth in the thumbnail. It's a weird Netflix cartoons, the thing was called? Yeah, I talk about it in that in case you're curious. Oh, uh -oh, final round. Final round time. Everyone in the audience has been scanned so we could know how they would answer this question. Oh. Which Game of Thrones character do people love most? Let's see what I don't we have. Watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> what do you think I'd choose? Three answers will get you points. Ready? Go! People if love most. Audience, I don't know, I haven't seen it. <laughs> and I don't know, Brian, Bran Stark, I like Bran, all Bran, and I like Tony Stark in Avengers. <laughs> Let's try that. <laughs> don't forget to use all three of your picks. <laughs> Jon Snow? Isn't Jon Snow the one who's, um, uh, um, a smaller person? I can't remember, he's, he's very, got a very powerful presence, though. Elmo. <laughs> All right, let's see what everyone picked. Okay, thanks. Cheers, Finny. Now let's take a look at the results. Well, I'm not the only one who hasn't seen. Well, yeah, we're a cartoon community. You know, a lot of people haven't seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> now let's see those final scores. 
Oh, nice work. JKMC is our winner. Well done, my friend. You are excellent at guessing society's general trends. You're a good statistician and researcher in psychology. Well, that was nice. Let's try another game. All right. What else have we got? Taking suggestions. Uh, what suggestions we got? What would you like to see? Um, yeah, good game. Quiplash. Okay, Quiplash seems to be quite popular. Uh, let's try Quiplash. I've been disconnected, obviously. Okay. Quiplash. Play game. Alright, so I'm going to show the code, guys. So, remember, if you want to join in, go to, um, excuse me, Jackbox TV, jackbox.tv on your internet browser. You can use your phone or you can use your tablet and you enter your name and I will present a four letter code in a second and you can join in. There might not be enough room. I don't know if they allow um, extra guests on this one. I like this one, I think they did. So even if it looks like everyone's joined, try and join anyway if you'd like to participate. Okay, so, um, to Jackbox. Oh, well, it says it right there, so I didn't need to tell you all that. Anyway, the code is J-Y-E Jaya Invalid room code. Oh, G-R-Y. I probably won't get in now. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> well, I'll just watch you guys play. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, wait, I could join in anyway, I think, as the... Uh... I think I can join in as a guest, though, so I'll watch you guys. So you guys, I think, can join in at any time, actually, on this one. Welcome so to feel free Black. to participate. If you experience any dizziness while playing, you probably won't do very well. Oh, it's the same narrator from You Don't Know Jack. Good-looking group, judging by your names, anyway. And remember, anyone who wandered in late can use that room code to join the audience and affect the game. How's the sound, by the way? Can you guys hear the narrator clearly? This is round one. Two prompts. Oh no, you, that's no worries, device. Choco. You guys join in. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Not clever. I'm in the guests want, still. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who. That's wins. okay, Sky Senpai. I'm never fast enough. Your either. answer, the more points you get. Go. Write your own answers on audience your device. Members, instead of just waiting around while the players type, try the audience play along. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's what they would say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shoo! Go away! <laughs> no. You again. <laughs> the key is not under here. In this house we pray soldier boy. God, cat. Don't knock twice. If you don't like anime, please don't come. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Come in, we have poodles. <laughs> Go away. Leave, please. Smile for the camera. Get it, man. Um, are we gonna get someone to, uh, does it proceed or what happens here? Are you guys still choosing? I don't know how it works. No soliciting. Trap door. Brace Almost for impact. Out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Yeah, there's also a safety button in case you're in the, um, in the group. I use that sometimes when I'm getting used to it. Are you guys like disconnected or something again? <laughs> Have we got like five disconnected players? Let's see how you did. First one. Thanks, Christy. Yeah. If you want to join in, feel free to go to Jackbox TV. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Mary Karen or question one thing. <laughs> Well, you know, I think everyone takes the Mormon faith as a... Not everyone, but a few people take Mormon faith as a joke. 
I don't know. I, I've always uh, spent a lot. Of, I spent a lot of time over the years around Latter Day Saints, and I love their. They're often very good people. They also don't drink often, and, and they're often very. Uh, I, I like a lot of the people um, in the Latter Day Saints that I've met. I'm not, I'm not a Latter Day Saint myself. I'm a uh, secular humanist, but um, a great yeah, way to I make do a love the people in, that I've met. Great way to make a it's dolphin mad is to blank. Put in the pool and... Oh, guys, come on, keep it clean. Don't make me turn on the parental, um, filter. Really, guys, come on. Those are both, um... <laughs> no. Um, the code is... Oh, I've got the freaking My, uh, I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize I've got my name in the way of the code. I'm a twit like that, sorry. Um, let me know next time. Uh, I apologize for that. I've moved it now, hopefully. J it's J-R-Y-E. That's why no one was joining. <laughs> okay, next one. Your awesome new witness relocation program name. Vote now. Come on, guys. Keep out the profanities or I will have to leave and put the parental filter on. I'll give you one more chance, whoever's doing that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... And it ruins it for everyone else, guys. Come on. Bugs loop. Yeah, it is a bit late uh, in uh, video um, video game or in uh, U.S. time. I like to um, do something in the evening though, so most people are home. It, it doesn't have to be I don't know, PG, but you know, guys, use some artistic taste at least. Um, fine doing sex and stuff, but you know, keep it keep it nice. Don't just make it bleh, Family Guy crap. John 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 Simpson. Joey Jojo. Coming up next, the last thing you want to find in your cat's hairball. Vote on your devices. Guys. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't know if you guys are actually choosing these. I think it might be the game. I apologize if I've been getting annoyed and other people are doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this game in case it's you guys because I don't know if someone's doing that just to make it unpleasant for everyone else. I'm very disappointed actually. If someone's doing that in the community, honestly. We have a better community than that. Now let's give it another try. Hopefully, um, it wasn't you guys. And I will show you the code, and you can join in whenever you're ready. LCYCF. YCF. And you can also join the audience at any time if you'd like to. Alright, um, so everyone's in, uh, but again, you can join at any time. Oh, cool, I can change the menu and stuff in there. Greetings, and welcome to Quiplash. Yeah, so you can join Guys, in the like top have right there. Extra funny to impress me. My expectations are already very low. <laughs> Round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winners' bonuses at stake. Go. All right. We just label you. 
Folks in the audience can try the audience play along while we wait for our players to finish. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. <laughs> Bring your talk to work day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, monstrous. I've just changed it to family friendly, uh, in case, uh, yeah. But when you were asking about that, yeah. I'll, uh, I don't know, I wasn't going to originally. I wanted you guys just to sort of be free on it, but, eh. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's always a minority who's got to ruin it for everyone else, but... Most of the community is really good. Running out. Think fast or use a safety clip. SpongeBob Day. <laughs> Eat Bagel Day. <laughs> <I'll take two. laughs> Well, here's hoping, Christy. Okay, here we go. The first prompt is... You know you have a shady landlord when blank. Hmm. Okay, use your device uh. to pick your favorite. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna have to... No, I don't want to close it and ruin it for everyone else. Oh, I didn't think this would happen in this community. Guys, honestly. And, and I shouldn't say guys. That one person who's doing it, that's... Really disappointing. Uh, Christy, if you see anyone like that, you know, feel they're ruining it for everyone else. So we'll, we'll try another game and hopefully we won't have that person again. Honestly. Uh, what about trivia? Faking it. Did we try faking it? Don't think we did. Let's try faking it. Uh, I like the look of this one the other day. There we go. I don't know if it'll help. They'll probably still just try and get around it because they're that clever. Ugh. But uh, hopefully for everyone else, we can have a good time. All right, so um, you can join in at Jackbox TV in case you don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, I will uh, show the code uh, in a second. <laughs> okay, the problem now is I can't actually join in because I'm too slow. <laughs> Which I didn't see being a problem. <laughs> Alright, um, so is everyone in? Yep. Sorry not as many people can join for this one. I Oh no, we've got an audience of 18, which is great. Um, and my microphone has Welcome just... Welcome to Faking It. I'm Cookie, and this is the first party I've been to in a while that doesn't require a fishbowl right. and keys. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And it is skippable because I'm not a monster. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person <laughs> is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, confused. the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have Oh, yeah, down, sorry, um, lie, I'll move my face cam. Deny. Come up with whatever oh. story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Okay, I think, I think you'll see in a sec. will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling We're comfortable. about 10,000 miles apart, so we probably can't. <laughs> Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. 
everyone's going to get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. See if I can get myself out of the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Task was not raise all your hand if you like Taylor Swift's music even a little bit. <laughs> Vote for who you suspect is the faker. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. Um The only problem with this one is I need to have a distinct understanding of each person, which is uh, a little bit harder in the community unless it's all people I know. <laughs> no, personally. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Does the audience get to vote? Oh, good, good. Oh. Yeah, I, cho I chose that. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> oh dear, this one might not work very well. So well let, let's all give it a try anyway. Consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now. Okay. No, no, at the moment, no. <laughs> I want to see people's responses to this one. This was the task. Raise your hand if you farted since this game started. Vote for who you think is probably the faker. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sort of uh, yeah, wondering that myself, Cameron. We'll finish the game, but uh, yeah, it, it, I think this one's more for pe people who are in, I don't know, the same room, I guess. Not enough teamwork to find the faker. This is your last chance to catch the faker. Sending out your third hands of truth task now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and the task was, raise your hand if you often go by a nickname. Vote for the faker now. But, that's a, I wouldn't expect that name, uh, nickname. Oh yeah, sorry about that, Lena. The, um, what you can do, though, is you can join anyway, um, in the top right corner, um... Like, because I've missed out in a few games too, but you can generally still join the audience. So, um, if you want to, feel free to uh, Jackbox TV and just add, enter the code. Uh, Maricross, did you say you can't hear? Is the volume alright, or...? Oh. Too bad. You couldn't get it together for that last vote. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Sorry guys, that was a bit confusing, wasn't it? <laughs> we'll try another one. Really, none of you like Taylor's music even a little bit. I mean, not all her songs, obviously. Um, you know, a lot of people are kind of first world whiny, actually, but... Uh, um, I know, I had a soft spot for uh, one of her songs, what was it? Um, you belong with me, I thought. Ah, oh, 
Really beautiful song and at, at times. All right, what yeah. category do we want to do next? I don't know. She does. She, she used to do the innocent princess very well. But uh, I think we'll try a game where we actually can kind of all participate and don't need to intricately know one another and be in the same room. All right, let's try. Um, we try Whiplash. Espionage. Espionage was kind of fun. And that, that ended up being one that didn't end up being uh, correct. Let's give Gespionage a try. Connecting to game services. So, uh, if you'd like to join in, um, just uh, go to Jackbox TV, enter your name and your code. So the code is UNPZ. And I probably want to get in. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Oh, I'm in. Okay. See you later, Snowden. I think this Gespionage is my favorite so far. Go this guy. And once everybody is in. Oh, people are joining slow. Is it a bad connection again? Oh, crap. Can you not see the code? Oh, yeah, my stupid... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My name is in the way again. God, I suck at this. Sorry. All right. Um, I guess I don't need to be on the screen. I'll, I'll put myself over here, I guess. No, that's in the way. I'll, I'll chuck myself down here. and you know, Next time I'll crop myself or I'll just get rid of myself altogether. <laughs> I, I just want you guys to know I'm still participating. Okay, I think everybody's in. Yep. Awesome. Hello! You know, most guidance counselors don't tell you how exciting being in a government agency that spies on people can be. So we decided to make a game to show you how much fun we have watching your every move. We call it... Espionage! Oh, and guess what? <laughs> We're now collecting live data from the audience. If we gather enough data from your audience, the questions are all about them. Now, Otherwise, not in the way, so you can see code. Let's have some analytical fun! Alright. Who's up first? Ah, it's James again. He's good at this. Get match. in the chopper! Get in the chopper! What percentage of people have flown in helicopters? Oh. <laughs> Curious what you guys pick for this one. Yeah. Got it. Seven. I think you're pretty on the money Everyone there. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. Well, I don't think over 50% of people. I'm just going to a little lower. But I think James is pretty on the money there. High five. No, I, I've never flown in a helicopter either. Lower. Let's see the oh, okay. Answer. You didn't like uh, flying in a helicopter? Really? No. In the ballpark. People have a lot more exciting lives than me, clearly. <laughs> Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Sorry, Amy Yumi Finn. I haven't watched many uh, animes in the last 15 years that, that are new. Except Studio Ghibli. Shouldn't have doubled down. Okay, who's up next? Nick Johnson is always full of some interesting information. About everything, even this. For interesting questions. What percentage of people put ketchup on hot dogs? Everyone does. Well, no, not everyone. <laughs> Ketchup's such an American thing. It's, for my dad, it's mustard, you know? So it's it's not for everyone, I guess. 80%. Okay. Yeah, Fire a fair guess, I think. Um... God, I love ketchup myself. I'm gonna go a little... Oh, it's probably, it's probably higher, honestly. Um, ketchup's such a big thing. High five. People are thinking it's lower. And Luscious what did the audience is on the... say? 
Oh. 68%. Really? Huh. Yeah, okay. That'll get you some points. Because I like ketchup doesn't mean everyone likes ketchup. Who got Good guess, right. Nick. Ooh, points for you. Oh, I got some points. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, there you go. Some people hate ketchup on hot dogs. I'm going to search for... And writing. What percentage of people, when taking notes by hand, use a mixture of cursive and printing instead of one or the other, like or block on letters? Taking notes by hand is a mixture of cursive and printing. Ah, yeah. Well, oh, it's, it's a bit much. <laughs> ah. You're almost out of time. You're cool, Rotara. What do you think? 13%. Okay, higher or lower. And this one, I'm going to say it is considerably higher. I, I don't know, I've always you personally used a bit of cursive, of a bit higher. of printing. And what does your audience think? What do you guys think? Oh. 21%! Really? Wow, you were pretty close. Ow, oh, huh. I thought it would have been like 50%. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. I guess that's what you get if you go much higher. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> what you got for us? Lusciousness. What percentage of people use cotton swabs to clean out their ears pretty much every day? Ah, that's a, you know, I don't know, my doctor always said never to stick anything in your ear that's bigger than your elbow. The problem with that, though, is we all do that with our headphones, you know, because our headphones are definitely smaller than our elbow. You're almost out of time. Yeah, I think that's pretty in the ballpark, what you got there. 32%. Mm. Everyone else, higher or lower? I'm gonna go with Interesting. a little lower. A little lower. High five. People are thinking it's lower. How did the audience answer? 15%. Yeah. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. No, it was pretty on the ball, actually. It was a pretty good guess. Kind of set me up for that one. Who got it right? Here's some points. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's up next? Oh, Oof, that would have hurt, Katarina. Oof, rupturing the eardrum. Right, I, like that. Oh. I used to get a lot of um, water in my ear because... Um, so I often uh, dry out my ears because you get a lot of ear infections. What percentage of Just people random medical thing you didn't need to know. People being embarrassed. How <laughs> many people usually cringe rather than laugh at videos of people being? I don't know. I hate those videos. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you look at the language of cringe and how the word cringeworthy has become so popular. Yeah, it, it's it's possible um, that it's quite a few people actually. I know. I think you're on the ball game with that 40%. forty percent. All right. Good guess. What do you think? Um. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go with it's a minority that keep those videos viral rather than the majority. But out of time. absolutely could be wrong on that. Absolutely could be wrong. Saying higher. And what did the audience say? Oh, and I love the fact that we all have a faith in humanity. <laughs> 55%. That was a respectable guess. Good guess, though, Eek. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. Hmm. Who's next? Ooh, it's me next. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What you got? Rick rolling. I'm gonna give you a never gonna let you down. What percentage of people have Rick rolled someone? Um I don't know, it was such a fad. I'm gonna go with 
Uh, 20%. Oh, I think that's even a bit high. Let's go 18. 18%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? What do you guys think? Am I on the money or am I a bit far off? Interesting. High five. Interesting. High five. Hmm. Most of you are saying higher. Let's see the audience answer. The audience say. Oh, really, guys? <laughs> Your guess wasn't within 30% of the correct answer. So <laughs> I just suck like that. Any points. Who got it right? Well done. Really, you was Rick points. Rolling that popular? Huh. You know, because like there's people who don't even use computers. Okay, it's like. Uh... Who's up next? Oh well. <laughs> I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What do we got, Amy Schumer? I don't know, like, I cringe terribly at home when I see it. Online altercations with strangers. Like, yeah. What percentage of people have gotten into online alt altercations? I I'm going to do something that most certainly isn't me looking up the word altercations. Noisy argument or disagreement, especially in public. Online altercation. Oh, okay, so it's basically an online disagreement. Or angry online disagreement. Uh, yeah. Everyone pick. I'm gonna say higher, definitely. Like, it's like saying, have you been, you know, given the finger in traffic? People, it's called, uh, for those wanting corresponding inference bias, we see it in traffic and online. Basically, it means we consider the person who we see anonymously a jerk naturally rather than they might be in a difficult situation. 56%. Oh. Really? Wow, that was good, Amy. Point. That was a really good guess. Nice. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. I thought basically everyone's had a disagreement online. But good on you. Um, good right, on you. <laughs> was a funny voice crack. Uh, yeah, and I think that's a better um, thing is you say, Catherine, you avoid arguments in general, and what that's like a, people mm, almost always add salt good on you. Serve to them. I don't always have that discipline. I try to, though. See, all my family adds salt to every meal, and I just always think of that same saying from Futurama, Would you like some human with your salt? And like, salt, there's a lot of um, empirical else, studies nowadays that show salt isn't as bad as people say. But, I don't know, it ruins the meal for me. I, I never add that much salt because already, if you look at sodium on the back of packets, we have tons. And I'm so busy yammering on, I'm going to say... Uh, Hurry up. I'm going to go lower. The vote is lower. Whoa, and everyone went lower. <laughs> I bet we're all wrong. <laughs> oh no. I think it's fair, actually, false. Right. You know, I would have thought that because so many people in my points. family had salt. Salt, salt. At least you gave us all some easy points. <laughs> uh oh. A final, final round. Time. Everyone in the audience has been scanned, so we could know how they would answer this question. Don't be a Game of Thrones Who's question. The most beloved oh, <laughs> easy. Now this one we know. <laughs> Or we can take a good guess. You get three guesses. Oh, I love Try Fuzzy. I love Gonzo. I love Miss Piggy. I love Beaker. Oh, I don't like Beaker as much. I think we all know. Points. Probably be it. I'm going to go with either Fuzzy or Kermit. Um, they most likely. Gonzo? I don't think. Maybe Miss Piggy. I, should, I, would, I meant to put Miss Piggy, but um, Don't forget, you might be gone to Miss Piggy, I think um, her um, male voice can be off-putting. <laughs> All right, let's see what everyone picked. I'm just going to turn my microphone down for a sec because the dump truck is coming. Now let's take a look at the results. See those final scores.
Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance they've ever surveyed. Let's play again. I like that. I wouldn't have thought 55% The dump though, truck's gone, so I'll turn myself back oh, up. Yeah. All right. Us, so the code is, if you would like to join. But why do you need a parasol? It doesn't work Okay. Otherwise. I'm probably too slow. <laughs> oh, I joined. Foolish. Ha! Um, yep, well, um, no worries, Sega Sister. We'll try Trivia Murder Party next. Um, but I, I really enjoyed this, and, you know, it's easy. <laughs> oh, come on, Chrissy, didn't you get in? Breathe it in. Come on to, um... Uh, Skype if you get a chance if you want well, and right. I'll so I can't even send myself the code early I'm not sure how to oh yeah I could just cover it up yeah, yeah I could do that oh right I, I need to press something sorry guys <laughs> thanks bye high five what? all right oh good we've got some new faces uh Roblox and hello again Nick and we've got Tep Drew the full jacks and Oh, I thought I chose. Ranger Rick and Fire Marshal Bill. How do you know Warren's? Yeah, I did choose. And last name. Hey, wait, what? why oh, isn't it letting me choose? Years. Have you? Nameplates right there on your desk. Press yeah. this button when everyone is so joined. Annoyed. Why and won't it let me choose? Sorry, guys. Um. Ah, come on. Come on. Why won't it let me choose? Okay, everybody's in. There we go. Hey, oh, Three. Sorry about that. One. The game froze on me. Well, I was gonna eat a sandwich, but I guess the intern can have it. It's his after all. Let's play... Espionage. Let's see what the new faces bring us. First up... Hermit. All sanity. I don't know. How about... <laughs> oh, that... Dump truck is back. I'll turn myself down for a sec, you know, I don't think you'll miss out on much not hearing me yammering for a minute. people have been on hot air balloon rides? We have an answer! 36%. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. One of you thinks it's higher. Let's see the audience answer. 11%. Okay, I'm back. Solidly mediocre. Excellent. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Thanks, Christy. Okay, who's up next? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. 50 shades of gray from my what good old friend people Nick. have read at least one chapter of 50 shades of gray this one you know yeah I, I guess a little bit higher actually um you know you're, you're calling that one but uh, hopefully you're right what do you all think? <laughs> higher or lower I'm gonna go a bit higher because um that was a popular book uh, with a particular uh, gender, which is 51% to 53% of the population. Time's running out. What did the audience lower? pick? Breathe it in. Oh, and in case you want to join, um, the, uh, the answers the in the top, uh, room codes in the top left. Four percent. Really? Was a respectable guess. Wow, I, I stunk at that. Four percent? You're wow. kidding. Everyone was wrong. We were all wrong on that one. Don't listen to me. I, I, I clearly stink at this. Sorry, guys. 
Oh, my okay, turn. Okay, computer. What do you have for this one? Only 4%. Oh. I suppose there's a respectable what amount of the population. People still. do not use passcode or fingerprint locks on their phones. Um, I do. But my work's tied to my, uh, all that. I use heavy security on most things. I'm gonna go... It's, it's, it's automatically in there nowadays, so I'm gonna go with 30%. Because I like even numbers. Everyone what do you guys else, think? Higher or lower? And yes, I know fingerprints can be, uh, but oh, there's also things like uh, verification via phone and text and all that sort of thing. But I think it's, you know, a little bit of extra protection that's helpful. Breathe it in. Hmm. What do you think? Higher or lower? Yeah, password's still a good idea, you know, just uh, Code should work. Um, just go to jackbox.tv uh, Pikachu. Most of and you are saying higher. Let's see I think it still answers. lets you in. 9%. Oh, really? Not too good, not too bad, just okay. And I stink at this. <laughs> Who got it right? We've been off on a couple Art, of these. Yes. Um, Tepdra and False Sanity were um on the money there, but uh, yeah, hmm. <laughs> shows how much okay, I know about people. I'm learning though, which Three is always days. good. We got Kermit the Do Frog. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? What percentage of people have sustained injuries from Thanks, fireworks Christy. accidents? Thanks, Christy. See you in a bit. I haven't played uh, much of Fortnite, sorry, Michael Gamer. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, most I've done is watch John from uh, John Green play it with his son. <laughs> and he made it look like fun, but maybe that was because he was with his son. Maybe I just missed the generation. Oh, I haven't really time. tried it, though, so I don't know. I could really enjoy it. What percentage of people have sustained injuries from fireworks accidents? Oh, well, that's that's a fair guess. I'm gonna go lower. I think it's a rare occurrence because it does, from my understanding, get a lot of um, talk and warnings in the media. And what did the audience say? Well, it can't be minus sixty-four. <laughs> you were pretty close. Moist. You were very close. Let's that was a good guess, Kermit. Right. Okay, first things first. Are you sure about that much lower? Now, where was I? Nice job. I've got some points for you. <laughs> Next up. Oh, that's no good, Catherine. His hair was set on fire. Jeez. my own tongue. Dunk his hair. Uh, did he drop and roll? can curl their tongues? What of people can tell tell their tongues? <laughs> I learnt when I was six and I was very proud of it. <laughs> Time's a wasting. That's a fair guess, Tep. Seventy percent. Oh, I'm glad to Everyone hear it, picked. Catherine. Higher or lower? How many people curled their tongues when they heard this question? <laughs> it in. I'm gonna go with... Oh, I think Temp's pretty on the money there. I'm gonna go a little lower. Hurry up. Come on, Nick. What do you think? False sanity? You guys haven't disconnected, have you? No. The majority say lower. And what does your audience think? <laughs> 85%. Don't feel alone, Matthew. No, I okay. can't click my no, fingers no either. Points. Really? Huh. Who got it right? Here's there you go. Points. Okay, who's up next? Apparently, I'm a really Ooh, misleading influence, so don't just do the opposite of whatever I think, because I'm clearly very disconnected from societal trends. Mermaids. Ooh. What percentage of people think Splash is a better mermaid movie than The Little Mermaid? <laughs> Who would say that Splash is... Well, I haven't seen Splash, so I don't know. It could be the next Godfather. <laughs> what do you think, Jax? Yeah. We're cartoon time. lovers, though, you know? So we could be completely off. It's, it's really hard to say. It'd be like, oh, that's kid stuff. But we see the artistry in Little Mermaid. All right, what do you some think? of us, you guys, might not like Little Mermaid. 
I'm gonna go with oh. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> Even if we're wrong, we think alike. <laughs> we're great minds. Everyone is saying lower. Let's see the audience answer. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me too, Yoshi. I haven't seen Splash, so probably. Really? Zero percent. Let's see if you got right. Ooh, points for you. We haven't had a zero percent answer yet. Oh, the audience was uh, the closest of all. Uh, really on the money there. Roblox, Ooh, what you got for us? Oh, okay, because I watched the uh, H2O cartoon. What percentage of people have or political protests? Lily Splash is a bad movie. Oh, I have. I walked in a lot of climate change protests back in my day when I was an activist in uh, supporting causes and such, and you know, had a bit more time around to do that sort of thing. Yeah, for good cause. Certainly, see, you learn a lot more about the tribe mentality when you're in those groups. Okay, higher or lower. Wait, right, I'll quit reminiscing. Um, what percentage of people have marched? Ah, oh, I'm gonna say. Because. Oh, this is a tough one. I, I, I think you're right on the money there, Roblox. Really? Twelve percent. Oh. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. Nice job. <laughs> Not bad. Good guess. Who got it right? Well, yay! Oh, I won't come last. This is a new high. Okay, who's up next? Yeah, that's a good point, Peppy Pony. There's probably a lot more Ooh, the people um, than yesterday. there used to be because of things like climate change and how little some governments, certainly the Australian government, does towards it. But um, what current people, people in power like to believe it doesn't exist. From one of those claw machines. <laughs> anyway, not getting political. So. Sorry, there was just an election, so it's all on my mind and it's pretty heavy. <laughs> my grandma, who was much more conservative than me. Great Brian's at one of those claw machines. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, you have a lot of faith in those claw machines. I don't have that much faith in claw machines. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Way lower. I'm going to go with much lower for this one. And I'm probably off, but uh, I'm going to go pretty cool. <laughs> we have no faith in those machines, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> well, I guess most of us have lost to it. Oh, but they've got those chocolate easy grabber ones. Really? No. No. Really? Nice. No one guessed correctly. Well done. Uh, but clearly, we suck on this one, Gudjidjafudgur. Good year for good year. It's time Clearly for knows what he's talking round. about when it comes to arcade machines. Well done, good year for good year. Okay, HG. Would answer this question. Okay, HG. Wish at a fountain, which coin denomination do people most often throw in and wish on? Here are the most popular answers. Nickel, puppins, two dollar. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready? Go! Puppins. Puppins. Okay. Here in the audience, pick the one you agree with most. You can totally determine the answer. I've got tuppence in my head now. <laughs> None. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't throw much money into the fountain, so like, not since I was seven, so, you know. Don't forget to use all three of your picks. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's making a wish, not okay, actually giving to a donation, because I do give to donations and charities, but... Puppins, again. Only two of us put none. <laughs> and what are the most popular answers? Hmm. Nice guess. Well done, my friends. And that was the winner is... one. Oh, I didn't come last. Well done, Nick. 
Clearly your uh, answers wow, are just as astute as your questions. People's <laughs> private personal lives. Well done. Excellent work. Well, my friends, now I believe there was a request for this murder mystery game. Let's give that a try. And then I will finish up, because I'm getting past the hour mark, and you guys are probably a bit bored of me by now. Uh, trivia murder party. Serial kills, absurd trivia game. Anyone played this one before? I've no idea. I remember um, Robin trying it, and it didn't... I think Robin tried it? No, it didn't look as... Um, I kind of avoided it, because it looked a bit more personal, so... Oh. Okay. Let's see what we have. Thanks for joining in, by the way, guys. It's been good fun playing with you. You know, kind of interacting together. It's just like, you know, you know, there's the amazing thing about the community is you can actually interact and, uh, you know, when you're able to, it's nice. And just to know the community's there sometimes. It's just like, you're not alone. You have a community around you, which is totally awesome. Anyway, enough of me gushing. Let's look at the code. Now. Yeah. I bet a lot of people type that one in fast. You ever type Pip Boy? Oh, why was I the first one to join? <laughs> That's alright, video gamer. You like whatever you like. It doesn't matter what I like. You don't need to feel like an outcast. You're here with me and we enjoy our time together, hopefully. That's what matters. So is everybody in? Looks like they are. Everybody's in. Let's see. Gone. <laughs> Starring Stelling Ship, Whereas, and Nick Johnson. Critical Think, Jackpot, Black Box. <laughs> and Four Jacks. <laughs> that wasn't a scary face. That was a mildly amused Wake face. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Welcome to Trivia Night, a phantasm of mind-rending challenges. Or at least that's how Parade Magazine described it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. Okay. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life. In one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the mini-game, I'll kill you. Oh. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Okay. Oh, and hey, look. Ooh, we've got an minutes. audience playing along, too. Day three. Tell you what, at the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins... Oh, am I in the way again? The audience, yeah, I am. Guys. Sorry. I was Sick. told people might like to play it over Twitch. I'm not sure what Twitch is, but I like the sound of it. Twitch. Am I rambling? <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling. Now let's get to it. You can join in the bottom right corner there if you'd like to. Right, question one. Okay, first question. What was the title of the autobiography of Monkey's lead singer Davy Jones? What? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience too. Good luck with this one, guys. I have no clue. Time's running out. Hmm. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> You're a fan, are you, Christy? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna get a jump scare. Welcome <laughs> to the killing floor. Oh. It's time for some finger cutting. I hope you're not fond of extremities. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's the hmm. opposite of difficult. Okay, well, let's see. Draw. Draw. Generally, cut when we're giving blood, we go jump. for the second finger. Ah! Yeah, that's right. Now I can't be rude to Give people. Me your finger already. And now I can still grip utensils somewhat. Hope you weren't a pianist. P-I-N-I-S-T. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair, video gamer. It's probably the pinky's not Here's bad. Here's how everyone's doing so far. Still grip Higher objects, scores are better than lower scores, FYI. Oh, and let's throw the audience a bone. Nice score, audience. Nice FYI, work. FYI, that was sarcasm. Well, they've, got, they've got a higher org score than most of us. Let's try this again. Let's mix things up a little bit with the picture question. Oh god, I need a haircut. But unfortunately my regular barber is no longer with us. Mm. He moved to Tacoma! Ah oh, crap, now you know that we're not in Tacoma. Anyway, while you look at this photo, I'm gonna cut my own hair as punishment. <laughs> okay, this isn't half bad. I was going for a crisp and glover, but I think I gave myself a hated panity air. Okay, you saw the photo of the two men, but tell me this. How many cutoff heads were actually in the photo? Well, that's easy. Hey, why won't it let me choose? That's weird. This is weird, it won't let me choose the correct answer. Time's running out. Oh, because I cut that finger off. Oh. Well, that's a bit silly. Who picked this one? Yeah, I just got a haircut too, actually. I feel a bit smarter now, I'm less shaggy. I have a surprise for you. Well, I couldn't choose the right answer. You cut off my pinky. Welcome back to the killing floor. <laughs> I'm mixed on this one. I can't choose the right Let's answer. Let's draw some pictures. I want to see some masterpieces from you, piggies. Okay. Future poop. Future poop. <laughs> okay. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Hmm, let's see. Let's let's put them on a hoverboard. There we go. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing <laughs> that you hate the most. <laughs> Time to make yourself feel better at others' expense. <laughs> What do you do guys it. think? One of these was drawn by someone who deserves punishment. Yeah, I'm meh on this game. <laughs> My patience is wearing thin. I chose though. Go on, uh, healing ship. The votes are in. Did you draw this ugly thing? Stelling ship. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I chose future poop. Uh, that was a question I got. I wasn't trying to be immature. No consequences down here, but you're not getting out of this game that easily. I guess that would be the worst drawing. Won the whole thing in the final round. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, <sighs> someday. <laughs> Let's take another moment. You can grab it on Steam if you cool want, Fanta. Board, huh? It's a bit pricey. I I'd wait for a um a special before getting it. What? Oh, we lost Stelling Ship. One. It's no good. I want everyone to participate. According to the myth, why did Lady Godiva mm. ride naked on horseback? I don't know. Difficult question. Oh yeah, I think it was to liberate women. Though I couldn't choose two when, you know, given the time period, that is entirely possible. No, I'm gonna go liberate women. I think that's more re reason to do it. Bet it did. Who said this? What? Really? Well, nice work, Wearis. The rest of you. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's play a game. Curse my faith in humanity, or historical humans. <laughs> Nothing brings out the best in people like a big pile of cash. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, 
no one dies. Okay. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. Now you guys have seen the Joker There's scenario. We all know what to do here. If you all take the money, then you all die. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making us sweat. I like this one. This is cool. And now, the moment of truth. Really? Sometimes betrayal is totally worth it. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> oh, that's a shame, guys. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I guess the Joker was right after all. <laughs> How do you guys do? Well, this lets me uh, focus on the uh, questions anyway. <laughs> the major is the muscle found in which part I'm of sure the you would have, video gamer. <laughs> do you mean it's major, the muscle... Uh, that would be uh, the thumbs, if I were to guess correctly. Wrong? Well, I'm not sure, but it feels like uh, the legs. Howdy, Shadow? When have you heard of Undertale? Yeah, I played in a Let's Play with uh, Raz once, actually. And the correct answer is. This one. What we get? Oh, the face, really? Zygomaticus. Zygomaticus. Let's go someplace fun. I am dead, but I also got it wrong. <laughs> Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Oh, good work, guys. It was Let's really see. hard to find good cues to cut out. <laughs> Don't be the person with the shortest word, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Do it now. Uh, indeed I am. I'm a the phantom now. don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. Come on, Nick. What you got? Let's see what you got. Choco milk and critical think? We got a word? You can do it, I'm Choco so and Nick. I'm to see what you come up with. Ooh, let's see what you did there. What'd you get? In sync. I don't want to be a jerk about spelling, but you're really not giving me much of a choice. Cat would have been better. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> nice, w nice work, you audience. Die, you die. <laughs> See, of my friends I know who wouldn't have taken the money, I know who would have. It's harder when... Uh... You're open more to the community. I've got more questions for you. I have a more close guess of uh, you guys not or do take the money. What was Princess Peach's original name in Super Mario Brothers? Well, everyone knows that. I don't know. Um, Princess Star, clearly. Princess Mushroom. Like, will anyone get this wrong? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Paul Jackson, whereas you know the answer to this. I baked a cake for you. Sincerely. Who said this? <laughs> Only a ghost got it wrong. <laughs> Lame. Oh, yeah, they probably Next will. Question. <laughs> Al Jazeera is broadcast from what country? Oh, I love Al Jazeera. For those who don't know, it's, um, very, very, um, it's Kuwait, if I remember right. You guys might know this right. I think it was Turkey or Kuwait. But, I'm definitely, definitely wrong. It's very, um, neutral news that looks at the general world situation rather than specifically, you know, the latest Trump scandal or something like that. It might look at the mortality rate in, say, Uganda or something like that. Rather than improvements. It's, uh, it's really good. And I got a wrong answer. <laughs> Good work, whereas in critical think. I want to show you something. I'm already dead. Let's play a dice game. 
I'll go first. Ten. Now I need an assistant. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as well, easy as you can come as back to want. life. What do you think? It's come a on, binary pick something. choice. It shouldn't take this long. What did the audience vote? Uh, fine. I'll choose for you. You're no fun. Roll higher than me or you die. <laughs> Come on, Jax, you can do it. Nice. The dice were on your side. Don't blame yourself. It was blind luck. Yeah, sorry about the Australian time. internet. You Hopefully it hasn't killer. been too bad. I am. Okay, where was Alton I? gets a better connection than me, and she's in Australia. In fact, I have freaking NVN. Why am I so many problems with the NVN? Well, the audience has thoroughly beat us. Nice work, guys. <laughs> How about this? Yeah, I'm tempted to actually drop down to see Robin and uh, Sumi to see Detective Pikachu, uh, Eddie Riviera, once it comes out, uh, in case they want to see it. Audio file is a connoisseur of what? Honor file. On honor file. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. Could be wrong on that. I can't believe the people who aren't dead. This one. Prepare for your punishment. The fool. See if you can get by. Yes! Nothing spells certain doom like the loser wheel! Less stalling and more spinning. Hmm. Oh, I just love it when she spins! Oh, nice work, fool. Ugh, you lame. survived that, Jax. By all chances, you should not have. Wait, Detective Pikachu really was already out? So far. You guys are the Rory to my Lorelei. No, I, I give Whereas and uh, Jax points all just right, for surviving this far. <laughs> Guy Fox was involved in a 1605 plot to assassinate which English ruler? What? How am I supposed to know that? Act like I did extensive history. Yeah, 60 to assassinate which English ruler? Well, I like the name James, so I'm going with James. I hope you guys know more about history than I do. I'm... <laughs> You should learn should learn this stuff, you know, even if you learnt it from um you know crash course you can tell us this stuff. This one? Oh Lucky guess. You're in for a treat. Oh no, Jax is out again. You've survived the killing floor so well, Jax. Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. No. Oh. Memorize the pattern. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If anyone does better than you, I will kill you. Oh, I think it was hammer, 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 hammer. <laughs> I don't want Jax to die. If you don't hit send right now, all your memorizing. I feel like it'd be no gone. fun in an actual torture situation. <laughs> this was the pattern, you silly gooses. How did you do? Hey, nice work. You got it exactly right. Impressive. Oh, let's see how your friends did. 
<laughs> we'll get you Again, the time. audience takes the lead. Well, how we all do. Nice score, audience. FYI, that was sarcasm. <laughs> they did fantastic. What are you talking about? All right, next question. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. Um, oh um, boy, um, here's um. a pick for my bachelor party. I know, <laughs> I know, things got pretty crazy, but every good bachelor party has twins. Mm. Mine were named Franz and Dietrich, and they were conjoined twins who were cursed in their mother's womb. But still, twins. Oh, that's so photoshopped. It's weird to think that they're all dead now. I mean, most of them were dead when this picture was taken. It kind of reminds me of Plinkett. Still, you know what I mean. What time does the cuckoo clock read? Well, no one was looking at that. We're not collectivist, we're Western, so we tend to look at singular focus points. Oh, I'm gonna go, I think that was it. How did we go? Jax will probably get it right, and, and where else? the answer is... This. Oh! I got it right! Yay! Uh-oh. Well, I think Jax will probably survive. <laughs> We're going to play chalices. I've given chalices. all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Oh, wonderful. Pick a chalice to poison. Um, well, you know, it's worth pointing out here, Jax, you should never go for the one that looks particularly appealing, particularly gold. Oh my god, holy. you're taking forever! Hurry up! Yeah, pick up, guys. <laughs> what you got? Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have to add a few of my own. Uh, just so you know, these poison pellets are, like, really expensive, so it's <laughs> kind of a jerk move on your part. <laughs> now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Hmm. We go for you the appealing one, Jax. Mmm, tasty. Now let's see what everyone drank. Oh, no. This was inevitable. Chose poorly. Aw, oh, Jax, you almost survived the whole way. That's all right. You did so well, man. It'll probably be a while before you get that taste of poison out of your mouth. <laughs> he did so well, damn it. <laughs> and he had good luck. Oh, good. We're just down to one. Whereas is monster good at this Glad game. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your So body? was Jax. He was amazing. I'm going to give you a category. Yeah, that was. Everyone's had a commendable effort in this one. Parts of the brain. Of course, oh, the cerebellum. I know that. For those who want to know, the cerebellum is like the mini part of the brain at the way back. It's more a primal part near our medulla oblongata. Very well protected and basically is involved in a whole bunch of different decisions, stuff. And it's a really cool part of the brain. So. I didn't get to choose anything. What are you choosing, Warris? Let's see the right answers. Oh, I gave you the answer. Sorry, just you yammering on. <laughs> space for every correct answer. I think you probably all got that right. Exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? Oh. If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Oh. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Hey, it didn't let me pick. Oh well. I think I might have accidentally chose correctly. The one whiteout sounds like a good one. I don't think Vladerific would be a real one. Annie, get out. I, Juarez has done so well, I kind of don't want to take his body. <laughs> I 
Oh. Catching up. Here's another one. Red wine. Red oh, well, wine. everyone knows this one. Um, I'm going to go with that. But, um, what do you got, guys? Come on, guys. Choose a bit faster than that. <laughs> Unless you're really struggling. Oh. I did alright. No. Yeah. Ooh. Jax wants it. Critical Think wants it as well. You guys have um, been at the top of the game for most of it. Yoga pose. Oh, I know this one. Easy. I have attended yoga before. <laughs> actually catch up. Well, probably not, but... Why does a ghost out one of them? <laughs> oh, just some down-facing dog. Oh, you guys know. Okay, an easy one. Oh, dear. <laughs> Approaches. Can we know this elements. one. Okay. I think Critical Thinking Fool Jax will know this one well. beat me on this, I might be consumed by darkness. I wonder how the audience is doing. Come on, who gets out? Oh! Okay. We might be out of luck, Black uh, Back Jocks and uh, Nick Johns. Choco Milk. Invertebrate. I remember vaguely from C class back in grade three when this Edgar taught me. Good, good. Don't uh, don't tell us. Oh, good. Oh, well done, guys. Uh oh. Whereas, oh, oh no. <laughs> Jax is back. No one can stop Jax. Not even Lost death. <laughs> Uh, anyone's that blow the fitness category. Oh, I know that. What do you got, guys? I like pasta, so I knew the answer to this one. <laughs> you can do it, Jax. Oh! Oh dear. I thought I knew that one. It <laughs> looks like... Nice. Films released in 3D. You go. We probably have a better idea of this one. I'm pretty sure Hugo was released in 3D. Ravioli. What did you choose? Huh. I wouldn't have thought it. 
Critical think got it. Oh no! <laughs> they got us. Critic think lives. <laughs> Audience of 36, well, of course they did. <laughs> they knew what they were talking about. Well done, guys. That was, uh, that was something. <laughs> that was uh, definitely something. See our scores. Whereas, you did amazing. Um, Jack, you did amazing as well. You, you, sh you two should have both uh, got that one. <laughs> Uh, Nick Johnson, not far behind. <laughs> Found the shortest word. Suck it into talk, talk taking money. <laughs> yeah, not taking money. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, I will finish up there because I'm about the hour 45 mark, but let's do this again sometimes. Message me on Twitter if you would like to do this again in the future. I'll try and get... Um, Oh, you played in the audience, uh, at Kentucky. Yeah, the audience won. Um, yeah, I'll try and get the other ones if people want to see different ones. Like, I love that drawing one that uh, um, Robin did the other day. So, um, yeah, let me know. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks again for playing. <laughs>